today on Fake Britain. The fake batteries that could give you more power than you bargained for. The thought of that occurring on an aircraft with maybe 400 passengers is horrific. We live our lives surrounded by technology that we take with us wherever we go. Phones, laptops and cameras, just for starters. And they all need portable power. These are lithium batteries and increasingly they're the type you'll find in all these devices. They're packed full of power, usually rechargeable and they're not cheap. But as you might expect at the fake Britain house, none of these batteries is the real thing. And as we're about to show you, the consequences of having a fake lithium battery inside your device could be very serious indeed. The chances are you're probably carrying one or more lithium batteries with you wherever you go, and you'll have more at home. Every year, over three billion lithium batteries are transported worldwide, and they're big business for electronics giants like Canon and Samsung. The fakers know that. They're cashing in on our insatiable desire for more portable power. It's early morning in the north of England. The Scambusters North West team, led by Officer Wally Din, are on the trail of a suspect thought to be selling vast quantities of fake lithium batteries. We are hoping to find evidence of the sale of counterfeit uh, camera batteries. And when it comes to these batteries, Wally's not just worried about trademark infringement. The problem with the fake batteries is that they could potentially overheat and go on fire. So they could cause damage to property to somebody's expensive camera, or in fact, they could cause injury. The counterfeit and potentially dangerous batteries need to be taken out of circulation. The officers arrive at the suspect's address and quickly get inside. Hi, got a warrant to search the address. The search begins, and it doesn't take long for the officers to find what they're looking for. I think I hear what appears to be several boxes of goods that we're looking for. And the batteries. Your phone's being seized as part of this operation, mm -hmm. as will your laptop will be. The suspect is arrested and led away. He'll be taken to the police station for further questioning. As well as searching his house, officers take a look in the suspect's car, and a first glance proves interesting. Wally's pleased with what they've discovered. We found six large boxes of what appear to be fake batteries of the type that we're searching for. There's also crucial evidence that could link the suspects to the crime. Computers, documents, laptops, mobiles used by the offenders. With the evidence secured, it's time for Wally to take a closer look. He's noticed something strange about the seemingly innocent generic boxes claiming to contain battery chargers. The packages are unbranded. They say digital camera chargers, um, which we think is an attempt to evade examination, say, by customs. It contains fake batteries. It appears to put one case inside another uh, in an attempt to disguise what's in fact inside them. It's the faker's version of Pass the Parcel. Fake branded batteries hidden inside generic packaging. And there are thousands of pounds worth of them. Just to give you an idea of the scale, um, leafing through, you can see that there's loads and loads of individual fake batteries within each of these double packs. The retail price of these batteries is about 60 pounds each, there's two in each. There are thousands of batteries here, so substantial monetary value to it all. The batteries are convincing counterfeits, even down to the fake hologram. But in a situation like this, how can anyone tell the fake from the real thing? Fortunately, Wally's got some help from a gadget that Canon calls the Handy Viewer. If you look at the hologram under the Handy Viewer, you can see that it shows gold on both sides, indicating that it's a fake one. Uh, on a genuine one, it shows black on one side and then gold on the other one. And that indicates that it's, that is a genuine item. But Canon isn't the only major electronics company to have their lithium batteries targeted. And trading standards are concerned the fakers are also cutting corners on safety. We have here what appears to be a fake Olympus lithium battery. So the same safety considerations apply, really. OK, so we've got some Sony Cybershot batteries. They are fake. They may not be safe. Shockingly, it's not just potentially unsafe fake batteries in this hall. This is something else we found. There are 
Olympus battery chargers. Similar ones to these have been independently tested and found to be dangerous. Um, so they're really not worth buying. It's a good day's work for the team. Today they've protected unwitting British consumers from buying over 2,000 fake lithium batteries from online shops. Despite the crackdown, fake lithium batteries of all kinds are slipping through the net. They're being sold on the web and they're duping customers. Roy Wilson from Cheshire has been a keen amateur photographer for several years. He takes his passion seriously and he's invested in all the latest camera equipment. When he realised that he needed a spare battery for his kit, he turned to the internet to find a good deal. It was £50, which is 15 to £20 cheaper than if I went to the high street. But this is not unusual. You normally find, if you go online, you do get it cheaper. If it had been £10 for a Canon battery, well, I'd be a fool. I would know you can't get a genuine battery for £10. But £50, to me, was a reasonable and a fair price. The battery was reassuringly expensive, so Roy went ahead and ordered it. When the delivery came, something wasn't quite right. We showed Roy a fake Canon lithium camera battery given to us by Trading Standards that was identical to the one he bought, even down to the packaging. Now, the first thing is, I don't need a pair of scissors because it's, it's just really cheap packaging. The hologram, when you look at it, this is cheap. It's not even a proper hologram. Everything feels cheap and nasty. So take the battery out and it just feels wrong. Roy had heard stories about people unwittingly buying fake batteries from online stores. He immediately contacted the website where he'd bought the battery. Not long after, he received a phone call. Well, trading standards tell me, could we come and get a statement from you? Now I'm thinking, although I can't officially know, I think that's giving me the red light that, yes, it was a counterfeit battery. I was annoyed, I was furious, I felt ripped off because I'd spent £50. And as I said, if I'd have spent £5, £10, that's my own stupid fault. I paid good money. But it wasn't just being ripped off that worried Roy. He'd done some research into fake lithium batteries and had discovered they can wreak havoc with your kit. Not only are they ripping you off with money, they can melt your equipment, they can cause serious damage. Later, we find out just how dangerous fake lithium batteries can be. Someone could unknowingly buy a fake product, bring it into their home and be using it, and this sort of reaction could happen. Earlier, we followed Wally Din and his team as they seized a huge haul of fake lithium camera batteries. There are thousands of batteries here, so substantial monetary value to it all. And we saw how Roy Wilson lost out to the camera battery fakers. I was annoyed, I was furious, I felt ripped off. Fake Britain decided to investigate how easy it is to buy a fake lithium battery for a phone or laptop computer. Acting on a tip-off from an insider, our researcher bought Samsung phone batteries from several phone shops across London and from several online sellers. Samsung later confirmed that the batteries were counterfeit. We also ordered what our source told us was a fake laptop battery. Armed with our counterfeit batteries, we went to world-renowned test house BRE Global to find out more about the dangers of fakes. Fire investigator Kira Holland agreed to show us what happens when a fake develops a fault. We began by giving her the fake Canon camera battery. We we're going to place this onto a hot plate and we're going to force it to overheat. Kira is simulating a fault in this fake camera battery. All lithium batteries become highly unstable when they heat up during a malfunction. But fakes are far more likely to short circuit than the real deal. Fake lithium batteries have issues with quality control and uh, with the safety features that were put into them. Kira will force the fake into a state known as thermal runaway. 
It's when the temperature inside a lithium battery rises to a critical point. And as it hits that critical point, the battery starts to smoke. So why would a fake battery explode like this? It is more likely to happen with a fake battery due to the fact of the, the poor quality control, um, the lack of safety features that are within these devices. Next up, it's the counterfeit Samsung phone battery bought by Fake Britain. Less than two and a half minutes later, it fails dramatically. We have obviously forced this reaction today, but it is similar to the reaction that can occur when these fake batteries are within devices, either being charged or being in use. Last but not least, it's time to test a fake laptop battery that we ordered from the internet. The internal failure causes a massive explosion. The shocking results have left Kira concerned about the effects of this happening in somebody's home. Whilst the fake batteries have been forced into a state of failure, they can heat up and explode without outside intervention. Someone could unknowingly buy a fake product, bring it into their home and be using it, and this sort of reaction could happen, in creating what could be um, quite a, a serious fire. So, fake lithium batteries could be dangerous in our homes. What could happen when they're in the air? Jeff Leach knows a thing or two about dangerous goods being carried in aeroplanes. He headed up the Dangerous Goods Office at the Civil Aviation Authority for over a decade. Lithium-ion batteries are now so widespread, it would be quite common for a passenger on an aircraft perhaps to be carrying maybe 10 batteries, if, if you like, in, in their laptop, their mobile phone, their e-reader, um, a light for an e-reader, so on and so forth. Um, so they really are everywhere. We showed Jeff the results of our tests on fake lithium batteries. <sighs> yeah, it's just horrendous. The thought of that occurring on, a, on an aircraft with maybe 400 passengers is horrific. A fake lithium battery blowing up on or near an aircraft isn't just a theoretical scare story. This laptop battery here was carried on a passenger aircraft from Hong Kong to London Heathrow Airport shortly after landing at Heathrow. The package in which it was contained was in the mail sort facility and it caught fire. And there were four foot high flames in the facility. Uh, the fire was extinguished very quickly to avoid what could have been a, a potentially disastrous fire. The people who came into contact with this fake lithium battery had a lucky escape. A few hours before, this battery was in the, in the hold of the, the passenger aircraft with maybe 350, 400 passengers on board. This obviously happened with a, a fake battery. There's that next to no chance of this happening with a, a battery from a, a, a genuine source. And it isn't the only occurrence. Jeff showed us a frightening video of a laptop computer. Clearly something has gone wrong with the battery, uh, which is out of the laptop, you'll see somebody move the, the laptop away from the battery, and then it rather, some rather dramatic effects. This lithium battery was about to be taken onto an aeroplane. It may or may not have been a fake battery, uh, but what it does do is illustrate the power that is contained within lithium batteries and the problems that can occur um, if they're not treated appropriately. And this kind of incident is far more likely to occur from a fake battery. The fake batteries have the potential to to cause a, a very serious fire, as we've seen from these videos, and uh, really, really should be avoided. Earlier, we saw how dangerous fake lithium batteries can be when they heat up. But the story doesn't end there. Consumers across Europe could unwittingly be using fake lithium phone batteries to power their smartphones. What if their phone also turns out to be a fake? 
Faisal Sheikh is a mobile phone expert and he thinks there's a problem. There are so many here now. We see so many cases of people bringing in phones for repair where they've got a broken screen and they want us to fix the Samsung Galaxy S5 or the iPhone and it's not actually an iPhone or it's not a, a, a Samsung device. Faisal has to break the news to those smartphone users that they have in fact bought a fake phone. Fake Britain wanted to see how easy it is to buy a fake smartphone, so we asked one of our industry insiders who managed to purchase a suspected fake Samsung Galaxy S5 phone. We sent the phone to Samsung. They verified that it was indeed a fake. We took our fake smartphone to Faisal to see what he thought of it compared to the genuine article. Well, what you have here are a couple of Samsung Galaxy S5s, with the exception being that this one here is real. This one here is fake. Faisal powers up both phones to see exactly what he's dealing with. The actual software on the fake one is very impressive. It looks like a Samsung device, whereas a lot of the fake phones that I've seen, uh, you can tell the minute you get to the interface that it's non-genuine. If you don't know any better, uh, you won't notice, and it's, you can easily be duped by this kind of stuff. Our fake Samsung Galaxy phone came with a fake lithium battery included. Having seen how potentially dangerous these fake lithium batteries can be, we wanted to see the effects of one developing a fault when it's inside a fake phone. So we took it to Kira Holland at the BRE Global Test House. So we have a um, fake Samsung phone um, and it's also got a fake Samsung battery inside of it. It's not long before the fake battery fails dramatically. So you can see the sort of damage that it's done to the phone. This will have been caused by the, um, the battery um, itself. The worry is that a reaction like this is more likely with a fake phone. This could happen in someone's house. It could happen where it's charging. You're more likely to get this type of reaction with uh, a fake um, device. Um, or a fake um, battery, lithium-ion battery, um, than you would with the genuine product, such as um, a genuine phone or a genuine um, battery. Um, and that is down again to um, quality um, control measures. It's not just something that's happening in the lab. There are numerous media reports of mobile phones across the world exploding whilst charging or even when in use. All of the incidents involved lithium batteries, many of which were suspected or proven to be fake. Phone expert Faisal told us about the particularly horrific case of Swiss teenager Fanny Schlatter. She had uh, a Samsung Galaxy S3 in her pocket, in her back pocket, um, and it just blew up. And that you can see from the device, the kind of damage caused, it's intense heat needed to, to do something like this to a phone. She's got a huge bandage there, a big burn mark. Wow. Wow, I mean, that's, that's horrific. That's quite a horrific burn. Fanny suffered second and third degree burns from the explosion. She claimed the accident left her with no feeling in her right thigh. Fake Britain contacted Samsung about Ms Schlatter's exploding phone. Samsung confirmed that following an investigation, it was found that the battery that caused the explosion wasn't one of theirs. Faisal thinks it could have been even worse. She could have been on the phone next to her face. That could have been a lot more nasty. It must be a frightening experience. Faisal believes we could soon see accidents like this involving fake phone batteries in the UK. It's quite scary because there's so many of these batteries out there. There are telltale signs to watch out for. If your phone's heating up, it's not a good sign. Um, these kind of batteries that we have here, where they're starting to swell, that will eventually get to an exploding battery if we don't give it more attention. So don't ignore this stuff. That's all from Fake Britain. Goodbye.